suppose you are on 8 pt86005 now you need to apply pt86011 okay so whether you are running on linux or windows whatever you are running what you require to do is you need one windows server because this whole patch will be applied through change assistant for change assistant you need a windows server okay so on windows server for what you will do you will install the target tools release this is our target tools release this okay so we'll install it same process same commands which you use will create a target tools home and uh, this oracle client should be there for connectivity right and then and you know how to install that uh, tools release right the deploy only deploy type is equal to tools home that command will use and deploy it okay so if you see i've already deployed it in pt86 here so i'll i'll just cut it and bring it out so that it is easy for you to understand so this is our new tools release this is our new ps home okay now next step is next step is first you install it next step will be install ca now remember whether you are doing anything ca will be of latest like you know the higher release only so suppose you are applying 86011 or 86012 that release will be highest the ca you will be using is of will be of highest release so between these two which one is the highest release one 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 right so how to install ca is you go inside this ps home okay whichever you have installed okay go inside setup okay inside setup you will find one folder called psca okay go inside this here you will find you will be finding the setup batch file okay so this batch file you can use so how to use you just open cmd in command prompt uh in administrator mode okay copy this location and then run setup dot bat and just press enter okay now it will ask you new installation or so you will say new installation yes yeah, one okay it is asking you the location so if you want to install in cps change assistant you can give this location by default so press enter okay now if you will see in some time ca will be installed so the low CS, ca is installed this is a very simple uh, way okay C ca is installed so where is it is installed it is installed in cps change assistant so if you go to c c drive ps change assistant this is our ca okay so our in ca is installed third step is configure ca okay configure change assistant so you go if you see this change assistant application right this is our change assistant just run it as administrator okay now you will see this welcome page you click next right so either you can update it from here click update manager click next it will check your option and it will ask you the details okay either you can do it from here or there is another way also you can do is i'll tell you so ps home what is the ps home ps home will be the latest one because you're moving to new release so what is our ps home our ps home will be this 86011 okay staging output download sql so one by one i'll the staging output and download directory so first let's see staging staging any directory you can create as a staging directory and you can keep give that location okay so suppose you have created staging at this 
like this you can create or you can create a temp folder and in that you can create a staging directory okay you just give that location output where output will be saved same as this you can create a output directory right so when jobs will run this output directory will be used okay so if you go here output is download directory now this is important now in case of this download directory will be the location from where it will pick up the patch okay so that is in new ps home you will see ptp folder ptp means pt patch this is our download directory and if you see upd patch 860 this is our patching download directory so that location you need to give always remember in every if suppose you have installed 86012 there also you will find this patching directory so this you have to give okay as a download directory sql query tool sql query tool is basically oracle client tool so what wherever you have installed the oracle client uh, suppose we have installed in workstation oracle client product 19 client and bin in bin there is a file called sqlplus.exe this file so this location we need to give so you copy just this location like this somewhere and just type sqlplus.exe and then copy this back and place it here next okay now you don't have to do anything click next again click next again and click next again okay here it will ask you what you want to do okay so you want to apply a change package you want to apply uh, you know whatever you want to do but our task is apply a patch to your current people tools release so i'll click this and finish this now it will check the connection to a database for that your database should be set up it will ask you the database details now see but database is empty so we need to create a database where we want to apply like this so let me start my database first because if it is not started it will fail okay meanwhile i'll put down the details okay so database name is hr92u046 right ps user i'll give access id i told you it was sysadm for me right and the password also i kept as sysadm connect i will they will be people pop1e okay like this now if you see these details are pre uh, defined here why because we defined these earlier so that is why it picked up on its own now let the database get start then i'll click next as soon as i click next see database is start as soon as i click next it is testing the connection and how it is testing it is testing via if you remember in this oracle client in network in admin folder we place this tns names.ora file if i open in this file it has hr92u046 details right through this only it is connecting okay okay please keep on you know speaking in between so if you see it got connected database version if you see it is 86005 right once applied once we apply the patch it will change to 86011 i'll show you later click next and click finish now our database is selected hr92u046 click next it will show you which patch see it picked up that patch from the download directory this was the download directory right ptp folder it picked up the patch this patch is correct we'll click next it will do its pre checks 
click next okay click next here you can see current home and everything you can see click finish now you see job is getting created that patch job is getting created okay okay one thing i forgot before applying any patch or anything your domain should be down okay so just make sure that all the domains are down only database should be up see this job started running also app web everything should be down process schedule also it it was already down okay and sorry and web also should be down now if you see here the job is running the patching job is running automatically it is being run and patch will be applied in database automatically So now if you see patch is applied in database after that what you have to do you will have to install the new people tools release on linux server also and then recreate the domains currently the ps admin utility i'll show you it is of 8605 and once patch is applied the database will be on 86011 so what you have to do you have to install a new people tools in the linux and then use that pps admin utility and create a domain have you ever used a filezilla or win sap yes sir i was have you ever you have used right so uh, you know how to upload uh, the zips to the linux right so you, in case of linux installation you will download the linux zips upload it somewhere uh, in linux like you know in temp folder or something and then the same thing unzip the first uh, first uh, file and then go into the setup and then that uh, command psft uh, batch command uh, psft command right psft this like this psft dpk setup dot sh hyphen hyphen env type mid tier hyphen hyphen deploy only hyphen hyphen deploy type tools home since you are installing on linux it will be dot sh okay and then give the location and it will be installed and then use that location as a ps home and use the people tools utility uh, ps admin utility to create the new domain
you have linux commands knowledge okay so see i'll tell you one thing if you see here meanwhile it is getting applied uh, instead of filezilla like in this case you can use one more thing if you do df hyphen h if you see this media folder media sf you see it there uh, third last media sf hcm92 upd so if i go inside media sf in pump case only okay for your practice so you should go for via root user media and sf and press tab if you see this and do ls hyphen ltr you see zips this is actually this directory uh this directory this one okay if i keep something here automatically it will reflect over there let me show you if i suppose keep test file okay test file one okay and if i go here and do ls hyphen ltr uh, see last file test file one so for now i can copy this test file one from here to anywhere in this server on this so this way also you can use from your local system you can keep the files whichever or zips whichever you want to copy it in uh, you know this server and then you can take it suppose if you have to install new uh, people tools 86011 after you have uh, applied the patch then you can keep it here and from there you can copy it to some location and do the installation okay so basically which location you should install it here only oracle pt like you install it in temp or something and then copy that folder which folder there will be a p folder like pt ps home 860.11 copy that folder at this location okay and then use this folder as ps uh, use uh, ps admin utility of that folder okay so if you go inside ps admin this if you go inside app serve and type ps admin uh, for that you need to be in ps adm2 user ps adm2 user is the user which you use for uh, ps admin utility okay So if you go ps admin here if you do ls hyphen ltr ps admin see this is the utility which is coming right so if you do ps admin like this see 86005 is coming and from where it is coming it is coming from the bash profile if you do type cd and do vi dot bash underscore sorry it is coming from bash rc vi dot bash rc here if you see the ps home is set to uh, if i come down ps home is set to oh, where it is ps home ps home one second uh, okay you see this locations ps home 86005 these you need to change to uh, your location like you know suppose now uh, you installed at pt and the folder name is ps underscore home 8.60.11 then you need to put that location here just simply replace that 05 to 11 okay then your ps admin when you invoke ps admin and each at every location here at every location wherever this is referred to okay and then when you start the ps admin utility it it will open uh, at utility of 11 then create a new domain and remove the old domains so this job is running so once you have done the installation of pump 
you will log in as root root and then switch to psadm2 user like this su hyphen psadm2 then if you type psa admin you will see all the domains and everything options okay it is running at this almost done so tomorrow daytime can you connect for one hour because only patching and uh, two three topics are left patching and ccdm password change it's, uh, it's, uh, four o'clock is fine yeah four o'clock will be fine hey right, can you can you make it around uh, 4 45 earlier early is possible earlier early. okay in the morning uh, between uh, 11 to 2 like that 11 to 2 11 to 2 okay i'll email you okay i'll email whenever i get time so for one or one and a half hour we'll connect and we'll complete all the topics tomorrow okay. then you need to practice everything refer videos practice it So before doing installation of pump, you need to do cleanup. Remember, so run this command. First, you clean up the pump, okay, and then do the installation. So what you need to do is this hyphen hyphen clean up. Then it will clean up your old machine and then run a new installation, okay? Even virtual box also I need to clean. I, I, it is better. It is better to clean up. I mean, you can just simply stop it and uh, remove it. Like, you know, if you uh, in a stop state, if you uh, press right click, you will get a remove option. This option will be enabled, right? So that also you can do, but it is better to do the cleanup so that everything, you know, unnecessary things will be removed both are fine but in case of native os you need to definitely you need to do cleanup without that you cannot proceed so very carefully read what it is asking and then uh, put entry okay so that you will have an idea that what you are doing See, it is on the last step now. Steps are completed. Okay. Now, if you see here, if I go to tools, right? Uh, tools, options, if I, I just showing you options. So, these are the values which you set. Okay. If suppose you go into tools and options you need to change the change some value staging op, uh, output or something then you will go into tools and options setting okay now if you see here there's a apply people tools patch okay so directly you know without uh, other option is that you need to apply people tools patch in other database then you can go here and do apply people tools patch okay like this and then click next and there here again you will have to set up that database okay now if you see hr92u046 i am selecting this again so that i want to see that what is the release it is on now it should be on 86011 release now if i click next if i click next see it gave the warning if you see people tool selected one one and target is it means it is same it is already moved to six one one another way to check this is that if you go here and uh, open database click on open database this is our database right if you click this see this is the values which we set if suppose you change the ccdm password you can open database and change the value here click next 
now it is testing the connection after testing the connection it will give you the release also last time also we saw right in the very bottom that it was showing 86005 last time right now what it is showing showing so is the patch applied okay yes okay so this is how you apply the people tools patch now domains are already down we do not need that domain we need to install new people tools in linux and via that people tools ps